But if you close your eyes Hello everyone and thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing and setup on my new uh, Android TV box, the Xiaomi Mi Box S. I ordered it from Walmart. It came in today. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and a quick setup. Uh, this this box is gonna be going in my living room TV. I got the uh, the Chromecast in there, but I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put this in. Uh, reason being because I'm gonna be switching to um, probably Sling TV and um, my wife she needs to use the TV so I'm gonna set it up I'm gonna set this up for just Sling TV and when I need to cast something to the TV I'll do it with my phone or my my laptop like I always have done all right I'll be right back all right so here's the box I got my trusty scissors I order it online and had it shipped to my local Walmart. I just went and picked it up. I bought uh, last month, uh, the week before Black Friday, a 55 inch 4K TV from Walmart as well that I'm going to be doing a, uh, re a quick review on later on. But for now, I'm just going to do the unboxing. It's going to be another box inside this. So, right. this box is a lot smaller than the shown TV. So, there it is. This is the newest uh, Xiaomi box, and it has. Chromecast Ultra built in. Uh, it says it suppo supports HDR. Um, unfortunately, the um, the 4K TV that I got does not support HDR. It's just 4K Ultra High Definition. So I don't know if it's coming up uh, the right color on the camera, but the box is orange. Orange. So let's see what's inside the box. I already know because I've seen plenty of unboxing videos. This thing looks like it's been open. I hope I didn't get a brick. I hope I didn't get a brick. So that's the box. Oh, it's tiny. This thing is really tiny. So let's see in the back. You got the the audio out. You got the HDMI. You got a USB 2.0 and a power input. There's nothing on the side. Nothing on the front. Nothing on the other side. And on the bottom, it just says Mi Box and the serial number. And on the top, the Mi. And the box, the instruction manual. Yada, yada, yada. And inside here comes the power brick, HDMI cable. The remote with the uh, Google Google search buttons has the Netflix button up and down volume live that's for the channels this is the apps on the Android uh, box menus all the apps the back and the home button and just the directional pad has a microphone, like I mentioned before, microphone is somewhere over here. It has a power button. I think you can shut the TV off with the with the controller. Also in the box, I got batteries. How about that? 
I can get him out. Two AAA batteries. All right. So let me set it up, connect it, and go through the setup. Okay, so it says in order to pair the the remote to the app to the box, I have to get eight inches away and press the two these two buttons at the same time. So let's see how do I do this. So these two buttons. Spared. Okay. So now language. English of course. So I should put it in set up with an Android tablet. Actually, yes, I got my my Android phone. Okay, Google. Set up my device. Hmm, that was very quick. Oh, hold on. Whoa, hold on there. Sorry. Oh, there, there it goes. That's a number, that's a number, okay, all set up, that was a lot easier than what I thought, very easy, very simple, kudos to Google for doing things so simple, all right, so, all right, Device is connected. Account. If you can see over there, see, I got in my room. I got an Nvidia Shield first gen uh, on my TV in my bedroom. I got the Nvidia Shield when they first came out a few years ago, and I love that thing. And uh, I don't go for the new ones because the old ones came with a SD card slot so you can add uh, more memory to it if you want to get the high-end version with more memory the new ones don't come with a SD card slot so yeah so it's restarting it's probably gonna have an update so first boot up System update probably is installing Oreo OP. Let me pause this so the while well, the thing's updating. Alright, so the box just rebooted and now it's going to the main Android menu. Of course I'm my finger is freaking on the on the autofocus sensor. That's why.
Alright, so there's Android. And this is all in real time. So sign in. Ah, oh, come on, really again? All right, let me go to that website on my phone. computer and put that put that code in hold on all right so there it is all set up that's uh, Google telling me that another device signed on into my account let me see So basically that is installing my apps. So when that's finished installing, I'll be back. So there it is, it's all signed up already. Um, that's the same same interface as my NVIDIA Shield, just about. The only difference, this one don't have the NVIDIA. Um, only, this one only supports Wi-Fi, of course. And it does not have the NVIDIA store. Display, screen resolution. So that's supposed to be an automatic on. So yeah. There it is. That HDMI CEC that works great on my NVIDIA Shield. I shut off my TV and the NVIDIA Shield goes off and back and forth. So let me see if this one has the power button. Let me see if it turns off the TV since I just enable it. Let's see. No. I guess I have to set it up. Alright. Uh, let me finish setting things up over here. And I'll be back. Alright. So I must say it came in with a few bloatware uh, apps that I'm not even going to use. Like HBO Now. I'm, I'm, I don't belong to that service. ESPN. I don't like sports. Stars. Yeah, maybe YouTube. That I use all the time. Google TV. Google Play. Yeah. CBS All Access, I don't. Budu, I do have Budu account. Uh, let's go back to the rest of the apps. Uh, let's see. Um, Sling TV, I am going to sign up for that. Um, Kids, YouTube Kids, yeah, I'm going to leave it. Um, YouTube TV, I did have a YouTube TV trial. Uh, I didn't finish signing up for it. Uh, most of these apps did moved over from my uh, NVIDIA Shield uh, so I'm gonna be erasing some of those apps uh, and that's about it let me go let's play something
So yeah, it works great. Let's go to YouTube. Like I said, YouTube. Let's go to one of my videos, see if it loads. Actually, let's look at that. That's not my video, but that's... What's going on, guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today, I got my hands on the new Mi Box S Android TV. I want to do a quick review on it. Now, before we get started, this is a very budget Android TV box. Now, let me... Uh... Let me test out the Chromecast functionality. Okay, go back home. I'm going to launch a website over here. Oops. Let me go over here. So I'm going to load that on the Chromecast, let's see, play, then Chromecast to the TV, living room TV, there you go, shows up over there. So it works great. By the way, that's Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4 Episode 1. I'm watching right now. Getting cut up. So the Chromecast worked great. Let me go to another site. So there it is. Uh, gonna Chromecast this uh, Amazon video to the TV so there we go Chromecast come on TV and yet my way comes up that's Amazon uh, Prime Video uh, for some reason Amazon Prime Video if you have the app on your phone um, it does not support Chromecast but from the computer you can Chromecast it to the TV and um, on Nvidia Shield they do have the Amazon Prime Video apps um, I don't think this one has it but I can sideload it uh, let me try another app, another website, Chromecast let's see I use this website all the time So let me Chromecast this to the TV. See the only difference between this one and Chromecast. Same thing with my NVIDIA Shield, if I Chromecast this to the TV with the regular Chromecast, it automatically detects, the website automatically detects a Chromecast and it enlarges the movie, the picture. Over here it doesn't, you have to enlarge it yourself. But this works. 
Uh, let me stop this before I get a copyright violation. Uh, it works great. So I'm going to be uh, posting a review video later on. I'm going to be going out of the country for a month. So probably when I come back, I'll be posting a video. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, so one last thing about the meat box. Um, in the back, it has a 3.5 jack on it for audio. It also doubles as a... Um, uh, optical audio so if you get one of those optical like this one that comes that I bought for my Chromecast audio I'm sorry this is a, a special optical cable you can see I don't know if you can see the light in there no the this there is turned off let's see Switch it to the input. Actually, <clears throat> you can see the the light coming out of the. Oh, it's not coming out either. What the hell? Let me activate that Chromecast for you. Let me send some audio to it. Okay, now it should be coming out. And red light. Yep. You see a red light in there? That's optical. And this thing is the fiber optic cable. Um, the Mi Box. Also, let me see if I can turn it on. You see that red light? That's also optical. So you can hook this up to. Uh, video receiver well actually it has HDMI so you can hook the HDMI to the back of the receiver and get the full audio out of there but uh, yeah just wanted to point that out that that 3.5 millimeter jack is also doubles as a uh, um, optical audio